Alode, uh, welcome back to Accounting Space. Uh, in this video, we want to look uh, at a question paper uh, of uh, November 2024. And this is a question paper of uh, Financial Accounting Info. So uh, we are going to look at the first question of that question paper. That is uh, the recent question paper that we have of November uh, 2024. So uh, our first question uh, is on matching words, whereby uh, it has uh, 20 uh, max 18 minutes on uh, this question. So uh, we can take notes uh, in terms of uh, time uh, required uh, for us to spend uh, on that question. Very important for you uh, to have a uh, good uh, time management. So uh, our question uh, reads, uh, choose a description uh, from column B that matches A or N item or term in column A. Write only at the letter A to J next with question number. That is 1.1 up to 1.10, which is 1.10. And then uh, it, uh, it is that we are given a table whereby we have a column A and column B. So uh, we are going to start by uh, the first term that we have, which is our uh, bank charges. And uh, we look at an explanation of that which is uh, bank charges. But uh, we know that uh, uh, bank charges, basically, if we try to uh, give it a description, uh, 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 they come as charges and fees are made uh, by a bank up uh, to uh, their customers exclusive of interest payments. So basically, uh, we can take note that interest payments are not part of bank charges. Very important for you to take note. So uh, bank charges, basically, their charges or fees are made by a bank uh, to their customers. So basically, uh, this is the basic uh, description that you can give. But uh, according to our descriptions that we're given in column B, uh, which one I do make is that. So uh, we can uh, try to uh, go down uh, checking the most appropriate explanation that we have. So uh, if you go to J, which is the last explanation that we have, uh, it is cost charged by the bank uh, to operate uh, your bank account. So uh, this is the most appropriate. We have J uh, as the correct uh, response. We have what bank interest are paid. Bank uh, interest are paid. So uh, basically, uh, we know that uh, interest paid uh, uh, to the bank usually is interest uh, that is attracted or payments that uh, that is attracted uh, by uh, uh, a negative balance uh, on, your, on your account. And remember, uh, if uh, someone or a business withdraws a money uh, which is more than what is in, in, in the account, uh, we are going to have a negative balance. So in that scenario, uh, the bank has to charge uh, that uh, uh, that proportion uh, that is negative. So uh, this, uh, that is what we have in terms of uh, bank interest are paid. So um, according to our explanation uh, that we have, uh, let's try to to check which uh, do make is our bank uh, interest paid. Uh, if you go to F, uh, we have got an amount paid to the bank when we have an overdrawn a balance. So an overdrawn balance, it's a negative balance. It means uh, when you are uh, the amount that was withdrawn, uh, that was withdrawn is obviously more more than uh, what is in the bank. Uh, for example, if you have a uh, fifty rand uh, in your account, and we go on to withdraw. 150 uh so in that case it means 150 minus 50 you're going to, uh we can just say 50 minus 150 you're going to get a negative 100 so the negative 100 becomes uh a negative balance uh, which is going to attract interest so uh, basically this is uh, what we have on the uh, second part whereby you see we have our f basically this is an agreement uh, between uh, you uh and the company uh, to take a set amount of money uh, from your bank account every month. So if you make agreement uh, with a company, obviously maybe you buy your credit and then you make an, an agreement uh, that you are going to pay the, that company a certain amount of money uh, monthly, uh, you can uh, effect a debit order. So basically that's what which means the money is going to be deducted on your account each and every month. So uh, according to our responses again, I will try to see uh, which one do make is that we have what responses that we have. But if you go to see permission given to someone to withdraw, uh, to withdraw money uh, from your account. So we have C uh, as the uh, correct uh, response. We will go to the next one, what direct uh, deposit. Uh, also, we try to see uh, which are uh, doing But direct deposit, we know that uh, obviously this is a deposit uh, that has been uh, uh, deposited into account uh, directly without passing a uh, bit uh, the business. Uh, so uh, basically, it's an electronic transfer that has taken place. Uh, that is money that has been uh, 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 are deposited into your account so it becomes a direct deposit. So uh, according to expenditures given, uh got E, a payment made to, into your bank account by a customer. So we have E uh, representing a direct uh, deposit. 
Then uh, we have outstanding check, outstanding uh, check. Uh, we also need to understand uh, what exactly uh, we mean by outstanding check. But outstanding check uh, is a check uh, which doesn't clear uh, the payers bank and doesn't appear on the bank statement. So uh, if you have got a check uh, that we issue as a, as a, as a business, at the moment that we write the check in the business as it's going out, uh, uh, it, it, it is recorded uh, in our books and uh, it becomes an outstanding uh, check. Uh, whether the, uh, the check hasn't been, hasn't, hasn't been processed as a bank, uh, it still remains an outstanding check. It hasn't been, it hasn't been processed. So, so we are saying it's a check which doesn't uh, clear the payers bank. So in our bank, it's not indicating and it's not appearing uh, on the bank segment, but uh, we are assuming that it's going to be uh, processed, so it becomes an outstanding check. So, uh, according to our response given, again we try to uh, go down checking uh, which one uh, do we have, which becomes the correct uh, response. So, uh, if you go to G, it uh, reads an amount written into the cash payment journal, which is CPJ, that the bank has not yet received and debited to your account. So, uh, basically, uh, this is what we have. So, uh, by debiting to our account, remember. Uh, what is being debited is the bank statement to indicate that money is going out of your account. You are making a payment. So basically, this is what we have. So uh, we uh, represent our GE. So uh, we also have outstanding deposit. So outstanding deposit also is the same as outstanding check. But in outstanding deposit, we are only talking about uh, uh, a deposit uh, that uh, hasn't uh, been cleared in the bank. It hasn't been... Uh, uh, are documented in the bank, and then it becomes uh, an outstanding uh, deposit. So uh, if we go to our our, others, our column B, we try to see again. So we can just take note that outstanding deposit again is it won't be appearing on the bank statement. So, uh, but uh, the essence is that uh, the assumption will be uh, uh, that deposit will be processed, so it remains an outstanding deposit. So uh, we go there and try to see. So if you go to H. An amount written into the cash receipt journal that the bank has not yet received and credited to your account. Remember, uh, when uh, we deposit the money into our account uh, on the bank statement, it will be credited, which is opposite uh, uh, to what we do uh, in our books, uh, in the ledger, we debit. So uh, this is uh, what we also have got H as the correct response. So we have got a post uh, dated a check. So uh, a post dated check, uh, usually we are saying, uh, this is a check uh, with a debt uh, which is uh, in the future. Uh, it's a check that has been written, but the debt uh, is uh, in the future. And that on that debt, that's when it can only be cashed out. So basically, uh, this is uh, what we have, or that's when it can only be processed. So uh, we can check according to our responses uh, that we have there. We go to D, it's saying a check with a debt sometime in the future. So we have D. Uh, this is the correct response. So we to one for the check. Uh, we also try to see what exactly uh, does uh, that uh, mean. Uh, so uh, if you go to our uh, our R D, which uh, replaces that, remember when it's indicated R D, uh, the essence is that uh, there are insufficient funds that we have in the account. So the check uh, yes, uh, was not processed. So it was indicated R D because of insufficient funds. So basically, that's what we have. Uh, we go to B, a check that the bank will not make payment on two two insufficient funds. So we have the uh we have the as the correct response. We we'll go to one point nine we got a stale check. So a stale check uh, basically it's a check uh, that is more than six months old uh, from the debt on the check. So uh remember when the check is written uh there's a debt that is put on the check so uh when six months are uh, elapsed after uh, after the date of the check uh, we say uh, it's now becomes a stale check. Uh, so in that case, banks are not obligated uh, to honor that check. So uh, that's the essence. So we have put uh, our responses and try to see uh, which one uh, uh, is the correct response. So if you go to A, a check that is dated more than uh, six months ago. So uh, basically, that's uh, the basic description that we have. We have A. Then uh, we have got a stop order. Uh, a stop order. So on a stop order, we are saying uh, it's a scheduled payment uh, agreement uh, between an account holder and their bank. Uh, basically, we are saying a scheduled a payment agreement are between an account holder and their bank. So, according to our response, again, uh, we'll try to see the most appropriate response that we have. So, if you go to I, uh, instruction to give uh, to the bank to detect an amount from your bank account. So, we have I as the correct uh, response. So, uh, this is the last part of our question, and uh, we see that our question. So, uh,
two months. So this is what you guys are caught in this video. And uh, let's stay tuned for more videos to come. And please, uh, let's not forget to subscribe and share to our channel. More questions are from the uh, question paper of November 2024 are going to be uploaded on this channel. So let's stay tuned. Let's get notified. Getting notified is subscribing and turning on the notification button so that when we upload new videos, you get notified. That's for this video. I'm signing out. Let's meet again in the next video.